Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I'm Sully Pones, and I'm back. I've been gone for almost a week and counting, but I'm finally back, and I'm gonna explain to you guys everything that has been going on in my life over the past week. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode of Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, where we're actually going to be making our way back to Gloomy Woods to complete it all 100%, and by that I mean find all the remaining blocks, uh, item patches, and drill spots. I'm assuming there's not a lot left. Last time I checked, uh, it didn't look like there was a lot going on there, so I'm really hoping that I can clear it out all in this episode so anyways I've missed you guys so much I've really missed uh, recording and uploading videos it's not like I took this break because I needed it or because I wanted to take a break I was actually gone uh, out of state and while I was gone I was also working on videos but you guys aren't gonna be seeing these videos that I've been working on until maybe this upcoming weekend hopefully so um, what happened was essentially last week uh, my mom came to visit me and I don't really get to see my mom that often so whenever she does visit me I always try to spend as much time with her as I can considering that I don't really get to see her often which is why like whenever she's here I don't record uh, but she was here and then uh, she stayed until Thursday night that's when she left and then Friday morning early in the morning I woke up I uh, showered got ready whatever you know and then I drove to the airport with munching orange and Zelda master and then we flew out to Orlando and the reason we flew out to Orlando was because our fourth roommate purple Rodri actually used to live there and uh, he flew back out to Orlando to get the remaining uh, things his remaining uh, belongings from there as well as his car so we told him that we'd fly out and help him road trip considering that the drive from Orlando to Chicago was like I think 18 hours or something uh, and we didn't want him driving it by himself plus we thought it would be a good idea you know take a road trip and vlog and that's exactly what I did I vlogged the entire time that I was there I vlogged us and I vlogged what we were doing and I vlogged you know the, the actual road trip it was really really cool and uh I'm very excited about this, guys. I'm very excited to share all of these things with you. So, uh, for those of you wondering uh, why I didn't upload throughout the last week, it's not because I didn't want to. It's honestly because I was just really busy. And even then, I was working on things for you guys that you guys will be seeing very, very soon. So, um, thank you all so much for being patient with me. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. I don't even know why I'm talking to this guy. He's telling me to look in his drawer because he wants to give me something for finding him, I guess. Because he's a good toad and he wants to be a very good host. So, he's going to... Make me take his whatever it is in here. What is it? Let's see. It's going to be a bros ring. All right. I just I was really intrigued to see what was up here, which is why I came up here. But it doesn't look like there's any blocks or anything important here at all. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and explore Gloomy Woods for you guys. And uh, hopefully I won't have any troubles finding these drill spots. I don't even know where to begin looking. This place is absolutely huge. Like in this game, uh, we had to visit it twice. And then there were two different sections. This is the second section that we visited uh, for the second time. Or I guess this is the second time we're visiting it look at it I haven't even like explored this area thoroughly I remember as soon as we got here and I had to like do those boo missions where I was like time to do them I instantly just did them all without even bothering to explore these areas so um uh oh geez oh gosh I completely forgot how many boos there are here these guys are probably gonna want to battle but there is no way in heck I'm going to battle these guys because unfortunately the boos in this game are all paper boos So when you battle them, it makes it very tedious considering that you can't just kill them in one hit Because when you attack a, an enemy for example, that's a paper enemy and they have like copy versions of themselves uh, You don't actually kill them all right away You kill their copies first and then you kill the enemy So it could take up to like six turns or I mean three turns in total to actually kill a paper monster So I'm gonna avoid these guys for now. I don't really need to battle them It's not like I need the exp or anything from these guys in particularly but I do need the XP because I think I'm like level nine. I didn't I didn't level up at all since the last time you guys saw me play this game uh, but yeah I hope you guys understand and now you guys know exactly what has been going on in my life uh, there's a lot of big things that are going to happen this year in regards to my channel and a lot of content that I cannot wait to share with you guys that's ready to go and honestly like things will just this weekend guys like seriously if you guys keep an eye out on my channel this weekend like everything will make sense all these breaks and absence everything will make sense so just seriously saturday i want you guys to keep a very close eye out on my channel uh and maybe even friday night because i could maybe say or tell you guys a little bit of what i've been working on i don't know we'll see we'll see how uh how things are going but um yeah saturday keep an eye out on my channel guys uh but anyways i can't seem to find anything here so i'm gonna go ahead and look up this place yep there's a block um, usually, like, whenever I find, like, a, a piece of, uh, terrain that's really high, I just assume that there's a block up there. Um, but that gave me a hammer. 
Huh, I don't even know if I'm going to use these items at all. So I'm kind of like wasting my time going around and doing it. But I just really want to see this game completed 100% in every single way. I want to turn it on and see 100% in paper toads, 100% in blocks, 100% in drill spots, 100% item patches. And that's what we're going to do. And more coins. By the time I actually finish playing this game, I'm going to be filthy rich. Like, I have so many coins as it is, and I bought, like, the best items in the game, I believe. At least I think I did. I don't know. Maybe they update the items every here and there. I actually haven't checked the items in this game after I defeated Bowser. Um, and the game actually saved after I beat Bowser. So it could, in fact, be different. Like, at least stores um, in this game. And before you guys start screaming at me about the drill spots, I know I see them. I just want to make sure that I grab all the blocks first in the area before I start collecting drill spots. Okay, here we go. And drill in. Let's see what kind of stuff I get. A heart bean, a uh, bro bean, and 100 coins. They're very generous with the coins in this game. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty crazy. They just want you to have the best items and stuff. Um, but a lot of people ever since I beat this game have been asking me what I think of the game and if it's worth getting. Personally, I think it's worth getting. Uh, I know a lot of people were very critical about this game and a lot of people surprisingly didn't like it just because they said it had, like, people felt... The one thing that I see all the time about this game is people complaining the f about the fact that Paper Mario isn't really involved in the game. Like, sure, he's thrown in and you get to play as him in battle, but that's really it, you know? Um, it, doesn't, it didn't really feel like a Paper Mario world. But then again, it's not titled Paper Mario, it's titled Mario and Luigi. So I don't know why people look at it like that. And honestly, for me at least... Just with video games in general, I don't really get my expectations up really high. I'm not talking like specifically just about Nintendo games. I'm talking about just games in general because if your expectations for a game are like really high and then the game comes out and they're not met, you're going to be severely disappointed about the game and you're going to hate it. So usually for me when a game's coming out and it looks very interesting and I'm into the franchise or the series, I won't really get my hopes up too much just because I don't want to end up disappointing myself. So I always try to focus on the positives and what I like about the game. Like, this game, in my opinion, is, is a great game. I love the throwback music. They had a lot of music from older Mario & Luigi games come back into this one. I love how they reused a lot of the work, like, the uh, the sprites and everything, and the renders from uh, Dream Team as well as Paper Mario Sticker Star. Um, I played that game, like, a lot of things. Enemies, like, even Paper Mario, Bowser Jr., like, they all, they're all they all from Paper Mario Sticker Star, which was awesome. So, it kind of feels like you're playing Paper Mario Sticker Star, but in a Mario & Luigi game, which is cool. Because Paper Mario Sticker Star is also a game that I pretty much enjoyed. And that game got bashed really badly. But I, I actually enjoyed it, surprisingly. Um, I went into the game not really expecting much. I was just happy that they made a Paper Mario game for 3DS. Plus, you know, I was actually looking forward to it for a long time. They announced that game, like, I think in 2010. At least that's when screenshots started surfacing the internet. And I remember back in the day, like, I saw it. And I made an update video way back on, like, my old YouTube channel about Paper Mario Sticker Star. It was, like, before they even gave it a title. It was just very simple works, you know. It was when they were announcing the 3DS and telling you... Hey, you're gonna get like this game and then you get a Paper Mario game and we're bringing all kinds of exciting stuff to this 3DS It was a way I guess for for Nintendo to promote them So uh, when it finally came out, I was actually very very happy with the game and uh, I wasn't disappointed at all I didn't really think of it as like a main series Paper Mario game. I looked at it like hey, this is a game It's a Paper Mario game, but it's for 3DS. Don't take it seriously, man. It's a handheld game I mean if it were on a console, I guess I'd be a little disappointed, but it was a handheld game, and it was really good for what it was, just like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. That game, I don't know why. All of my friends really hate that game, and I don't know why. I think it's a beautiful game. It's legit one of the best-looking 3DS games on the 3DS, and it, it's just everything about it. Like, the music in the game is good. I really love the storyline about the game. I love how lengthy the game is and how it's somewhat difficult a little bit in some spots, at least. But it's, it's a good game. I really like Luigi's Mansion as well. Um... But yeah, anyways, I really don't even know where the heck I'm going, and there goes my phone. Not good, not good. Alright, let's see. Um, I've definitely cleared out everything in this area. There's no, like, question about that. This is, like, the first and only area that I'd probably clear out. Oh, gosh. Okay, watch out, watch out. Oh, I see you. Gonna watch out for you. Ooh! I think they're, those are the ninjas, man. I wonder if I battle them, if I'll be able to kill them instantly. And, yeah, we can't go over there. But, what I'm gonna do... I think most of them... Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way first. Because uh, there's a room in this area that I actually skipped over that I want to get back to. Um, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about once we get there. But let me see. Have I been here? I don't think I've been here. 
I actually no, I, I might have. This looks very familiar. Yeah, I think I might have. Um, but if you guys look straight ahead that background, it looks like that's an area that can be accessed, but it's actually not. And it's really cool how they did that. They put the terrain back there, so it makes you think like the woods actually go deeper than they are, but truly they don't. It stops at one point. Um, and look at this. See the stacks of paper booze? That's it's not even worth it, man. Straight up. It's not even worth battling these guys because you're not gonna get that much EXP. And at the same time, you're just gonna waste your time battling something that isn't worth it. So Oh gosh. Oh gosh! Okay. Another one. Another freaking battle. I, I'm actually contemplating on killing these guys just so I don't have to deal with them. But that would take forever. The problem is every area that I go back to in this game, because I've been out of it for so long, um, I bet you all the enemies will have been re respawned. And honestly, for like new Bowser Castle, I don't mind because I plan on doing like a huge training grind um, once I... Oh yeah, I totally got these items. I remember actually coming back down here now in the LP. I don't know why I checked. I guess it doesn't hurt to double check, you know? Because just in case I didn't get an item, I would probably end up finding it. Watch, I'm probably going to end up battling this guy again. Oh man, please don't. Oh god, Paper Mario, you stupid paper craft. Oh, and he's a shiny boo. Okay. I think they're gonna attack right away. Yep, they always get attack. Whenever it's like a shiny paper enemy, I think they always get to attack first or something. I've always had that happen to me, no matter if I'm faster than them or not. Which you can't really tell. You can't actually say, hey, I'm faster than this enemy because you don't know the stats of an enemy in this game. I guess you just have to assume based on the levels that, you know, if it's higher level than you, then it's going to be faster than you. And the cool thing is whenever you battle an enemy and target at them, it'll tell you the name of the enemy as well as the level. So, um... Anyways, if you look on the map exactly south from this area that we are, is another area that I actually haven't looked at. Um, I wanted to go here. That's where I was trying to go to at first, but I didn't see this entrance way. I ended up going down all the way across, which led me back to the beginning area. Um, but this is what I wanted to do. Yep, come back down here. Look at that. See? An item block. Something that I was going to skip over totally. Two double mushrooms. Not bad. Let's see what else we have here. We have glowing mushrooms from Mushroom Gorge is what it looks like they're not as bouncy though yeah they're clearly not as bouncy but it's all good so we got another block right there and i could go ahead and pull Ooh, and there's another one over there no drill spots though i think i honestly only have like four left because when i started this out i had like i had seven or something to collect and then now i only need like four more uh, and then for the blocks i had 15. i actually don't even know how many blocks i got but once I explore the rest of the woods, I'm going to look at the map and see how much I have left. I don't like looking at it as I'm collecting them because it just makes me paranoid. Because I like feeling like I collected a lot just to see the payoff at the end rather than checking every single time I collect something. Because then it makes it feel like it drags out and it goes that much more slower, if you guys know what I mean. So, um... I want to talk to you guys also about Mario Maker. I know a lot of you were upset that I started Mario Maker as well as Yokai Watch and then I completely abandoned them. People actually assume that I start these things just to take it away from you guys to upset people out there, which is weird because I don't know why anyone in their right mind would do something as sadistic as that. I don't do that and I never, ever, ever, ever even thought of that at all. That wasn't even a possibility. And people assume that. So, I'm here to let you know that Mario Maker will, in fact, resume on Friday. And then Yokai Watch will also resume once we are completely done with this game. Every day from now, you guys will get one episode of this. And hopefully this weekend, I will be able to talk to you guys about what I've been working on. And share with you all the content that I've been working on. And hopefully it'll be good and you guys will really enjoy it. I've honestly been putting more effort into this than I have in my channel. Even though in December, I felt like I worked really hard on my channel. Uh, whatever. I've been working on which I'm not going to say because I don't want to spoil it for you guys I've been doing a great job keeping my mouth shut over the past couple of months But um, hopefully like I said this weekend I'll be able to talk to you guys about it And I'm very excited and you all should be just as excited as I am This is just the beginning guys 2016 is going to be our year I promise um, But yeah this place is really weird I don't like being here because of all the piranha plants They kind of weird me out I don't want to get into battle with them That and the fact that there's just like black gunk everywhere it's not cool man but uh anyways actually what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna just go all the way across because i still feel like i need to explore the areas up north um and there's actually one area in particular um that we can access if we actually take this area where the toads were standing i'll show you guys what i mean in a sec 
I keep forgetting how big this place is. And I actually really like this place a lot. Like, I love gloomy woods. I love anything woodsy. Like, I remember even in Zelda games, anything forest temple related always was my favorite. I'm just, like, a big fan of the color green. Green is, like, my favorite color in the world. And anytime I see it, whether it be in nature or anything, it's just like, this is amazing. Green is so beautiful. And anybody who says otherwise is just fooling themselves. So if you're a fan of red or yellow or blue, you're fooling yourself. I'm just kidding. You're allowed to have your own opinion and whatnot, man. Let me see what's going on. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, I found the last four bean holes. I knew that they were here. Um, because, like, well, look at that. They're going to put two there. They got to put two on the other side. Oh, and a block? Dude, this is my lucky day. This is definitely my lucky day. Um, so once I get this, I think there's, like, two more areas that I have to explore in Gloomy Woods. And then that means I would have accessed every single area in Gloomy Woods. And then and only then I will permit myself to look at my stats and see how much I have left to collect. Um, just because I don't want to, I don't want to make it a habit where I look at it constantly. Like I said, it's, it's not cool. It's not good. I don't like it because it just makes everything feel like it's going way slower than it actually is. But let's see. Anything here? Doesn't look like we got anything going on over here. Um, I wouldn't even expect anything to go over there. I'm pretty sure even when I came here the first time, I did explore it pretty thoroughly. I don't know why I didn't go over to the side. The thing, oh man, the thing about when I play this game is I don't actually pay attention to the map really. Um, I'm always focused on what I'm saying and then the gameplay. So I, it's, it's really hard for me to focus on the map. But right now I've been doing it just because it's like the only way I can gauge um, the areas that I've actually been in. So this is back to the room that we were just in uh, and it's the end. Let's see. Yep, yeah, there's a block over there. Thank you, game. All right, let's see. I think this is the last block, guys. This is it. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Really? You had to fill on that last block. Look at that. Okay, and... Ooh, awesome. Let's see. And we got three Ultra Mushrooms. Okay, let's find out if it was. And it wasn't. We have two more blocks to go. But as for the drill spots, we got those all 100%. So... Dang it, I gotta find two more blocks. Well, crap. Actually, wait, I think there was one back here. Oh, yes, there was one back here. Thank the Lord. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Oh, man. So now we just have one more block to find. And honestly, I don't even know where to begin looking. Uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh, there it is. The final block, guys. Thankfully, it didn't take me that long to find it. It was in the same exact room. Wow, that's pretty crazy. It's these piranha plants, man. Like honestly, they're the reason why I don't wreck like I didn't really try to explore everything thoroughly just because I don't want to battle them. There's so many of them, man. So freaking many of these guys. But I honestly think we found all the blocks, uh item spots and drill spots. Let's go ahead and see. Uh yep, 56. Oh my gosh, we did it. Look at that. Everything is done. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.